Hi everyone, this is once again Corin from SpeedyCam with a new interesting tutorial. Today we are going to see how you can automatically add a product to the cart of your Shopify store. I think this system is going to be useful for a lot of people. For example, let's say you have a free product you can offer for all the people that get something from your store, then it's going to help your conversions. Or maybe you have a product that doesn't cost you much and you want to sell it for, I don't know, five or ten dollars, then it's going to be a useful upsell and you're going to earn a little bit extra for each order. Before we begin, you will find the link to the written tutorial in the description of the video. And I would also like to remind you uh, to subscribe to the channel, not to miss out on any of the upcoming videos. And please like the video, leave a comment if you've enjoyed it and let us know what we can do better or uh, what kind of tutorials you would like to see. And lastly, I want to suggest you to check out the Speedfly theme. It's one of the best in Shopify. So the first thing we're going to do is copy the code that you can find in the tutorial. Then we're going to go to edit code of the team. Find the cart that liquid file. And we're going to paste the code right at the very bottom. After that, the next step is about customizing the different options of the code. The first thing you need to decide is whether you want to automatically add your upsell product no matter what your clients try to buy initially. If that's what you prefer, you have to select yes right here. But if you want to add automatically the upsell only for when specific products are initially added to the cart, then you have to select here no. If you have selected no, you will have to also customize this second line of code. But if you have selected yes, then you can ignore this line. So let's say we have first selected no. Uh, right here, you will have to choose for which product you will have to add the upsell. And the way it works is quite easy. All you have to do is change the targeting of the product with the URL portion of it. So right here you can see product one. I have already pre-configured the code, but I'm going to show you how you can find the URL portion. So right here, what you see here at the end of your product URL is what you need to copy. So here I have product one. It, it means that whenever someone adds to their cart, product one with this third line of code will add automatically product two. So right here, I'm going to show you product two. This is the URL. So right now the code works. So I'm going to give you a taste of it. So let's say I add to cart my product one you see that automatically the product two is added as well. But if I remove this now and try again with the third product, you're going to see that it will not add the upsell. So what you can do is go back to the code, click yes here, which will mean that the second product will be added automatically no matter what we do with the store. So I'm going to try again with the third product. And now you will see the upsell works. There is another thing you need to understand and remember this system will only work if you have a cart page. So if you have a mini cart or something similar, unfortunately, it's not going to work. So be careful with that. And we're going to continue. There is another option you can customize. So with the last option, you can actually pick a specific variant of the product you want to add to the cart. So I'm going to go back to product two. And here you can see that we have multiple variants. By default, it's always the first variant that's added. But if you want a specific variant, 
you can for example pick it and then click on edit and you will see here at the end of the URL section there is an ID of the said variant so if I want to add the variant M this is the ID that I'm going to copy and all I have to do is just replace this text with the ID now if I try this let's see add to cart we can see product 2 size M so this is it I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope it will help you get more sales and uh, please don't forget once again to subscribe to the channel to leave a comment to like the video and I will see you for the next one